holy crap after him that that siege and loss part if you guys witnessed that that was one of those battles that i looked at and was like can i win this emperor full army second full army both intact emperor were unbreakable perfect vigor both his purple items the nemesis crown make him a mortis engine which against my type of army terrifying i wish sure if i could win that i have no doubt as well the fact that it was a siege the exterior towers did some damage as well as the interior towers that i kept building otherwise that that would have been one of those that would have been bloody hard to win really really hard to win But with the Emperor dead, Emperor can come back, obviously. He's still going to have both his purples. He's still going to have perfect vigor and unbreakable. But he's not going to have the Nemesis crown. With the Emperor not being a Mortis engine, makes him much easier to handle. Because then I can stack up my army. And when he lands, just chuck crown the White King on him and the Vampire Hero. Obviously, he was trying to target my Vampire Hero. So I had to put her um, on the ground. That's the only way you're going to get him to land. Because she's not going to beat him in the air. I don't even think Manfred on his dragon would beat the Emperor in the air. But now my Skeven allies can also opt for a counter-attack. I don't care who takes what. I just care that the Empire don't win. And I need to wipe out Durfu. And the Skaven don't appear to be wanting to wipe out Durfu. I need to go and wipe him out myself. Once Durfu's dead, that's just one of my rich conditions met. And then he ain't coming back. Oh. Okay. Alright. So this is an arch lector, is it? I'm guessing. So he, he rides a steam tank? Alright. Grenade launcher outriders. Not sure how much damage I'll do to zombies, I'm not sure. I suppose we'll find out. I spread my units out a bit further because I don't know how much damage these are going to do or not. I don't know. We don't want to use that yet.
And the reinforcements have come up there. Is he going to come into combat? He's on four. What are wins of magic at? Oh, I've got loads. Got absolutely shit loads of magic. Ninety-one melee attack, magical attacks. Yeah, let's see if he deals with that. Yep, as I thought, the White King's cutting the fuck to pieces. Whew, that close. Yeah, I don't think your grenade launcher shit does much against my guys. I don't think. Is that anger back? Is that grenade launcher? Is that just normal one? I think it's normal ones. Oh, he's firing into there now. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Not all the way out there.
Scottish engine. I can just wither all the bullshit. Ten leaderships zero. The right there with my lord. Does that make any sense? Ginger, fuck. Now, looks like his arm is broken. Right. Annoying fucking steam tanks.
See, the thing is there, they underestimate these armies so much, but it's also how, how they played into that. I'm probably going to lose Hamgar here. I can't really keep it, I don't think. Uh, no, no. They didn't take it, okay. Kind of pointless. But yeah, I um, underestimate these armies also how they played. As soon as I saw that big bunch of trees, I thought, right, well, a large portion of his army's cavalry and a large portion of its missile. Well, missile damage is reduced inside trees and not all the missiles hit because trees can block some of the missiles. And then cavalry and any large units get a massive debuff inside the trees. Now, that debuff will also apply to my mortise engines and my um, black coach. But mortise engines literally just got to get stuck into combat. So all they've got to do just put them in combat and their mortise engine damage will do the rest. That's all you've got to do. Hi, Kiss. Oh, God, because it's in here. Oh, okay. We've got Skaven Bleeding Plague. Oh, no, somebody else's. Grand, okay, oh, that's expensive. I need to get my money up. Everything dies. I can't now shuffle this way. Soon I'll be all powerful. They will serve. Get me that. So we've got Curse of Undeath. I can make maximum use of invocation. Right, his army's fully recovered. That's why Ariel went that bloody way. Durthu with an army of pissing dryads and Ariel. God damn it. Soon I'll be all powerful. Ay, 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 ay. What I'm planning on doing is really, if I can, is go round this way and just take him the fuck out. It's been a thought in my side for far too long. Right, I'm going to leave this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're not here, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.